good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I was actually quite relieved when I received today's program to find out that my presentation was not right before the lunch because I'm about to talk to you about liquid waste. Not unconventional industrial liquid waste, but more like our waste. The one that humans produce every day. Yes, excrement. So if you have never wondered um, what is going on with what you let in the toilets when you flush, let me briefly explain to you about our feces fate. What is this? Can I change the... Yeah, okay, perfect. So most urban areas are connected to sewage network. The wastewater flows in this network and reaches sewage treatment plant, where after uh, many treatment steps, the waste is separated from the main uh, flow and natural clean water is released in natural streams. This liquid waste is mainly composed with water, but contains also a lot of organic elements, mineral salts, that makes it the perfect source of fertilizer for the agriculture. Unfortunately, it also contains more and more in our societies, uh, micro pollutants, heavy metals, a lot of hazardous compounds, and some countries, more and more countries decided to uh, forbid lunch spread of the sewer sludge. So, the solution, the alternative that has been put in place uh, is mainly incineration. But of course, when you want to incinerate a liquid waste, first you have to dehydrate it, which is very greedy in terms of electricity. Then you have to store this waste, this um, waste, and you have to transport it into incinerators or for landfilling. This is a very costly solution. It costs up to 40% of the overall operating cost of a sewage treatment plant. What we are developing at Tritech is a solution where we can process this liquid uh, waste. The first step is that we separate mineral salts and upgrade them into natural fertilizers that can be given back to the agriculture. Because I believe that's where they belong, not in incineration ashes, but we just give back to the soil what the soil gave us through food. Then the other part of the waste is organic. Organic is just transformed into biogas, and then we release uh, clean water in natural streams. This kind of shipping container, as you can see, is able to uh, treat um, the equivalent of a 70,000 people city. And we propose a solution half the price of the actual ones. As of today, we are working on a lab scale prototype, very quite small thing. Um, we have deposited patents, we have incorporated our company and got seed fundings. And our goal now is to build a demonstration unit uh, by early 2018. We plan on being on the market uh, in 2020. And I'll just finish by introducing my team. So mainly our technology is half chemical, chemical engineers. So Gael and my professor, uh, Jeremy. And the other part is mechanical engineers who do this whole energetic optimization thing. We are uh, advised by some professors around uh, universities and since we are also doing a business we are uh, we have um, business advisors in in our boards so thank you very much for your time and I'll be happy to answer some of your questions what is new um, what is new is the fact that we can uh, upgrade those mineral salts and we provide, a, we provide a service to sewage treatment plants. And uh, today in Switzerland, at least in Switzerland, I've, I'm trying to do some business assessment in other countries, but uh, people pay a lot for this incineration. I mean, incineration is great if you can use the heat, but otherwise I believe that producing an energetic vector such as biogas and having the possibility to extract potassium and this kind of fertilizers uh, is definitely better than what is done today. Any other? 
Yeah. Can you speak about your technology? Because you know you speak about your model, what you want to achieve, but in terms of technology, you have a differentiation. So uh, I'm not going to go into too much details, but basically we use uh, supercritical technology. Uh, what happens in this kind of liquid waste is that um, uh, mineral salts uh, lose the solubility that allows th us to, to separate them. And that's, that's on this part that we have a, a patent and that's on this part that we really uh, work now. The whole gasification thing is not very new. I mean, we do like hydrothermal gasification and uh, yeah, this, this, is not a, uh, this is not a big deal. What's your business model? How are you going to scale it? So the goal is to, to build several of those uh, shipping containers and we really want to propose a service. So we, we get paid to dispose the waste of sewage treatment plants and then this waste is ours and what we do with it, if we can upgrade and, and get other revenues on biogas and mineral salts, uh, that's for us.